Today, 840 million people around the world do not have access to electricity. While progress is being made, we need to accelerate our efforts to achieve access to electricity for all by 2030 as part of Sustainable Development Goal 7. One of the key ways to reach the goal of universal access is through Integrated Electrification Pathways, IEPs. An IEP is a set of inclusive planning approaches and policy measures that support using grid, mini-grid and off-grid technologies to provide electricity and energy services to everyone. Some countries are already embarking on such an approach. Examples can be found in Ethiopia, Nepal and Togo. And while no path to universal electrification is the same, there are four fundamental principles that underpin integrated approaches. IEP Principle 1 – Recognize electricity access as essential for achieving other development goals. Access to electricity underpins many other development goals, so a national electrification plan should power the development vision for the country's future. The electrification plan should focus on providing individuals with access levels that support their livelihoods and power essential services in their communities. Universal access to electricity is of course a right, but uh, to make it a useful right, there are many things to be done. Il faut qu'on apporte l'électricité pour l'éclairage public, il faut qu'on puisse électrifier les écoles, il faut qu'on puisse électrifier les centres de santé en fait. IEP Principle 2 – Consider all sustainable technologies and delivery models available. With technological advances, there are now many more ways to electrify households and businesses, even in very rural and remote regions. Achieving universal electrification requires a complementary mix of approaches, which include expanding centralized electricity grids, as well as considering decentralized solutions such as off-grid systems and mini-grids. Instead of the traditional just grid-based solution, we took into account off-grid solution very seriously. We have stratified the solutions from pre-electrification to off-grid electric city, micro and mini-grids to also the, the grid expansion. So we have strategized in the National Electrification Program what we can achieve by 2025 where we said we should be middle-income country. Donc, on, la, 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 toute la réflexion a été de se dire comment est-ce qu'on peut faire pour accélérer ce processus et faire en sorte d'intégrer de nouvelles technologies qui vont permettre en fait de, de, de pouvoir accorder le maximum de personnes de manière à ce que d'ici 2030, tout le monde puisse avoir accès à l'électricité. IEP Principle 3 – Establish high-level political support for coordinated government planning. Government leaders need to make electricity access a priority that cuts across different departments. Coordinated planning and involvement from a wider set of expert stakeholders ensures electrification plans have the best chance of succeeding. Oui, l'engagement du chef de l'État était déterminant. Il a encore donné les instructions au gouvernement d'élaborer une stratégie dont l'objectif de cette stratégie, c'est que d'ici 2030, que tous les Togolais, quel que soit leur lieu de résidence et quel que soit leur rang social puissent avoir accès à l'électricité. With the change that Nepal has undergone recently in terms of uh, the government structures, uh, this has empowered the local governments um, much more and it has mandated the local governments to develop, promote, uh, maintain and even monitor the renewable energy access. Um, by its people. IEP Principle 4 – Develop policy measures that encourage private sector investment. IEPs should be developed in consultation with the private sector and be accompanied by policies which enable investment from a variety of sources while also balancing the financial needs of service providers and the ability of consumers to pay for the services. A lot of effort has been put in to bring the private sector in the energy generation. I think uh, if we are planning to get uh, more 100% uh, access, we should make our policies that private investment would be more attractive. In order to achieve SDG 7 by 2030, 
especially in Ethiopia, the government's plan and the private sector's plan has to be really, really aligned. An integrated approach to electrification is essential to achieving universal electricity access, especially when many energy consumers live in hard-to-reach, last-mile communities. Countries like Togo, Ethiopia and Nepal have shown that the principles of integrated electrification are powerful tools for reaching their sustainable development goals. By embracing these principles, governments everywhere can ensure no one is left behind in the push to deliver affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern electricity for all by 2030.